there closer to one of the things that relaxes your throat is if you just gently bite the sides of your tongue it causes your mouth to form saliva and the saliva you swallow and that causes your throat to relax you swallow because when you swallow our throat is forced to go the other way so avoid that just do that um, so that I tell people to get everything out of the way Good morning, church. Good morning. Welcome to First United Methodist Church. God is good. And all the time, God is good. I'm Pastor Parker. It's so great to see you all here this morning. You're in for a big treat with our Christmas cantata, Tapestry of, uh, of Light. Right? <laughs> Jesus said, I am the light of the world, right? Amen. Amen. Just a few announcements this morning. Uh, first of all, need to... Uh, let you know about our Christmas Eve service that is coming up on the 24th in a couple of weeks. And the music will start at 6.30 sharp, and then our service will be at 7 o'clock. And we are looking for a few more uh, scripture readers for that night. So if you'd like to uh, help out in the service and read uh, scripture, just let me know after the service, and I'll get your name and number, and I'll give you a scripture assigned uh, for the reading for Christmas Eve. Also, this afternoon at 2 o'clock, we're going to be Christmas caroling at Barrington Terrace, which is on Congress Avenue, just north of Woolbright. And then also, next Saturday afternoon, we're going to be Christmas caroling at Blessings and Bargains. That's a thrift store uh, of, from Faith Methodist Church, which is on 10th Avenue North and Jog Road. Uh, so if you want to join us for Christmas caroling. And this Wednesday evening is a Christmas uh, potluck dinner church-wide. Both congregations come together if you're available. It's going to be at 6 o'clock held in the Family Life Center out at Faith Methodist Church, which is just five miles uh, west on Boynton Beach Boulevard. And then um, a Christmas Eve service, as I said before, is going to be starting at 6.30. And then at 7 o'clock is a candlelight service. And there's going to be an earlier service out at Faith, which starts at 4.30. And then the service there will be at 5 o'clock. And then uh, coming up on January 12th is our next uh, Fine Arts Series concert. It will be held here in a sanctuary. We have a clarinet. It's going to be a clarinet concert. I'm not even going to try to pronounce He's his here. last name. He's here. He's here. Oh, here he is. Is it Stojo? Scoyo. Scoyo. All right, Scoyo. All right, so remember to just invite our fa family, friends, and neighbors. And there are some uh, flyers out in the narthex that has a list of all of the Fine Arts Series concerts. So just want to invite you to uh, take a look at that and invite other people to come as well. So with all that being said, if you want to stand up right now and greet each other this morning in the passing of the peace with a handshake or a hug.
Facebook so many times. He shared it. If you find your seats now, we will begin our service this morning with the lighting of our Advent candle, our ad Advent wreath. Good morning. The scripture reading this morning is from Isaiah 35:10. The ransom of the Lord will return. They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sound will flee away. We like this king. If the light works. <laughs> <laughs> we light this candle as a symbol of Christ, our joy. May the joyful promise of your presence, O oh God, make us rejoice in our hope of salvation. O oh come, O oh come. Amen. Prepare your hearts. The grace of God takes on human form. Good news, Emmanuel, God with us. We gather to make ready our hearts for the coming of Christ, our hope. Please join me in singing of hymn number 238, <laughs> Angels We Have Heard on High. <coughs>
ushers to come forward at this time as we have an opportunity to give back a portion of what we've been so greatly blessed with in the giving of our tithes and offerings. As we gather to get together this morning to enjoy the wonderful sounds of our Christmas cantata, let us pause for a few moments now and go to our Heavenly Father in prayer. Let us bow our heads. God of mercy, at this time of jolly songs and festive parties, we prefer not to hear your call to repent. Yet you remind us that without it, we risk missing the whole point of Christ's coming. 
We praise you, Lord, for this generous gift. We thank you for all of your gifts to us. We are grateful and we praise you for the opportunities to serve in your name. Make us responsible to your call and eager to do your will, whatever the cost. Discipline us that we may become strong and courageous, tender-hearted and forgiving, compassionate and sacrificial. Help us to abandon ourselves to you. Guide us in all life's plans and purposes and increase our faith. Help us not to be faint-hearted, but ever pressing on to advance your cause throughout the world. Use us, Lord, to bear fruit for you. May we realize the value of time and the need of doing today what you have for us to do. May every talent that you give us be used wisely and invested to hasten the coming of your kingdom. Father God, we lift up all those on our prayer list this morning to you and those that we name in our hearts. And just as you sent your messengers and prophets to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation, give us the grace to heed their warning and forsake our sins, that we may celebrate the commemoration of the Nativity, and may we await with joy the coming in glory of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. We pray this in the name of our Savior, who taught us to pray together when he said, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Now let us enjoy our Christmas cantata this morning, Tapestry of Light. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light.
voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight and the rough places smooth. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles.
this promise from scripture. The desert and the parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it will burst into bloom. It will rejoice greatly and shout for joy. All will see the glory of the Lord and the splendor of our God. will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. Now hear the words from the Gospel of Luke. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. 
Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths, and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them.
There were sheep living out in the fields nearby. Oops, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to all people on whom his favor rests. covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and the kings to the brightness of your dawn. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, 
During the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose, and we have come to worship him.
are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. darkness, but will have light of life.
God. And the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, all things were made. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life. And that life was the light of all people. Let us therefore rejoice, for God through Christ has made us his children of light. We are now a reflection of his glory. As we forsake the darkness of the world, we freely choose the illumination of God's truth and grace. Let us now shine our light before all people, so that by the light of our love, they may see the glory of God in all we say and do.
What a wonderful, wonderful Christmas cantata. Thank you, Tom, and Chancellor Choir, Stradivarius Ensemble, Sarah, everybody. Um, please remain standing. Get the exercise. Now receive this blessing. During this season of love, hope, joy, and peace, may our God of grace and mercy fill you to overflowing with the power of the Holy Spirit so that you may go out and share his love with one another, not just this day, but forever. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Amen.